Hey guys, Shane Sarns with Droid Modder X, and as you guys know, today Google released the Android 5.0 Lollipop SDK. Along with that, they also released some updated preview builds. This is not the official build, but this is pretty close. This includes an updated material design and includes a lot of new features. Uh, so we'll go ahead and look into it. This is the first boot of Android 5.0 Lollipop. So as you can see, even the welcome screens have all changed. I'll go ahead and log into my network. Okay, this is a new feature in the welcome screen, the tap and go feature. It says quickly copy any Google accounts, backed up apps, and data from your existing Android device to copy. Uh, make sure your other device is on and unlocked. Briefly place the two devices back to back until you hear a tone and then set aside. I'm not going to do that now, but apparently that's using the NFC capabilities in these devices. Uh, but we will skip that for now. That is a really cool feature though, especially if you're going from one device to another. Uh, this will be really awesome when everything has Android L. So we'll go ahead and skip. Okay, we can skip this now, but this would be just sign into your email account. And then you can add your name. Okay, we're turning on Google services and this screen. We'll select next and setup is complete. So as you guys can see, this is the Nexus 7 and the install is really clean. There's not a whole lot of extras here. If we go into the app drawer, um, hmm. The animation going into the app drawer has not changed in the preview build for the Nexus 7. Uh, if you guys have seen on some of the Nexus 5s, you get like this, uh, basically it's a big bubble that opens up with the app drawer, but that's not, looks like that's not included in this preview build. We'll go into settings, and you guys can see how the settings have changed. In fact, we'll pull down the notification bar, and if you pull it down again, you do get your quick tiles there. As you can see, uh, there's uh, your wireless toggle, Bluetooth, you have an auto brightness slider, and you do have a location which you can turn on and off for your GPS, turn on and off auto rotate, airplane mode, and now there's a cast screen. So you can actually cast your screen to the Chrome cast, which is a pretty awesome feature. Then if we hit the settings toggle here, it opens up your settings. So right now there are no notifications. If I were to sign into Google, which I probably will go ahead and do that so you guys can see the new notifications. Uh, but we'll go down to about tablet and we'll click on uh, the Android version to bring up the Lollipop. Also wanted to make mention uh, on the phone, if you pull down the quick tiles, there's actually a toggle for a flashlight, which is really cool because normally you would need to root your device and maybe do an Expos frame where you'd have to download an application separately. Uh, but that's really convenient if you're fumbling for keys or something in the dark. You just set that up on your phone, which is pretty cool. So if we click on the lollipop, you can see that it changes colors. If we press and hold, it actually launches Android Flappy Flappy Bird Android, which is pretty neat. Pretty cool how they have a game included in the Easter egg. We'll check out some wallpapers. So these are the Android 5.0 wallpapers. And you guys can kind of see the overall material design. Uh, the navigation buttons have changed. Everything looks a little simpler. I noticed on Nexus, on the Nexus 5 Android Lollipop, the notification bar and the nav bar actually blend into the background. I'm not seeing that here. Uh, but that is available on the Nexus 5. Like I said, this is not a complete official release. This is a preview build still, uh, but it does have some new features. If we open up the app drawer here, you can see the applications that it comes with. It comes with a browser. We'll open the calculator so you guys can see this material theme. And then I'll open up the browser and just bring up the keyboard so you guys can see the difference in the keyboard. Got a little bit of swipe action here. Uh, we do have a white keyboard, it's not a dark keyboard, so that is different. I actually kind of like the design, it looks like uh, the letters are a little larger maybe, uh, easier to read there. Okay, so we're just kind of continue in our little overview here. This is the Google Calendar, and we'll pull up the camera application. You can remember the location like normal. You guys can see if we pull from the side, you've got Photosphere, Panorama, Lens Blur, Camera and Video. I Kind of wondering what this lens blur is. So shoot with lens blur to help these subjects stand out. Oh, that's pretty cool. So kind of like the feature on the HC One M8 that in, that allows you to kind of have like a DSLR effect. Okay.
Okay, so we'll see what that did. Okay, so we'll launch the gallery and take a look at that picture that we just took. And you can't really see it very well here, but the background is blurred out while the foreground is totally nice and crystal clear. So that's a pretty neat little feature uh, in the new camera. Okay, if we go to the lock screen, you'll see that there is an option to unlock uh, or you can go directly into your camera. Okay, we'll take a look at some of the widgets. There's the clock widgets, bookmarks. I don't know if there's actually anything new here. Looks like it's all pretty much the same widgets just with a new material UI. Okay, if we open up the clock application, you guys can see the new material design. You can set an alarm clock, view the time, set a timer, uh, or you can set a stopwatch. If we open up the Play Store, you guys can see the all new Play Store is included in Lollipop. So no need to go and update the Play Store, it's already up to date. You guys can see some of that material design inside of the Play Store. And so you can kind of see up top here that the notification bar kind of blends in with the app that I'm running. Um, let's see if it does the same thing when I go into my contacts. You guys can see that it blends in. If I go into the browser, it turned dark there so you can kind of see that um, it kind of blends into whatever you're currently doing. Okay, so some other features in Android L or Android Lollipop. Uh, Google has done some extensive work in improving battery life and that should show as we run the Lollipop build. And then they've also done some extensive work on making things a whole lot smoother. So as you guys can see, it's pretty smooth as we move through the screens. No lag to speak of. So anyways guys, this is Android Lollipop 5.0. This is what you can expect to find on your Nexus 6 and Nexus 9. I've already got my Nexus 9 pre-ordered and I'm pretty stoked about that. It should be here in the coming month or so, probably not even a month. I've been said to release on October 31st, I do believe, so that'd be pretty awesome. As that's released, the updates will begin to start pushing out to older devices, and Nexus 7s and Nexus 5s will begin to receive the Lollipop 5.0. I've also got a video on how to install this. You can find both my manual install guide and my one-click Nexus root toolkit guide in the links below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at JordanModerX. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.